it's just like everything else is just working out like everything is working out within itself so i'm not tripping it's just like okay i don't know how this particular thing is going to get done due to my lack of funds but i'm just seeing where everything goes and i'm just gonna chill i'm not gonna be like upset i'm going to stay focused on the mission because i know if i stay focused on the mission everything's gonna get taken care of for me that's how i've been living my life ever since really 2020 bro what is your problem because we gonna we gonna fight if you don't get on my face peace and unity shalom everybody but yeah you know we all gotta get back on track like all right the topic of today is get back on track because a lot of folks need to hear this you know a lot of us have gotten involved with things that um we get started off positive like that's the thing like i don't think a lot of people have negative intent for anybody or for themselves or for their journey for future generations it's just sometimes you know us being here under light code lockdown being here in the matrix we get distracted you have like this entity that you're worshiping and everything's supposed to be peace love and light everything's supposed to be great yet christians are probably the most toxic people in the entire planet well, they are. They're the most toxic people in the entire planet. That's no shade, no tea on Christians. It's just, it is what it is. Look at your organization. Like, what? Y'all pimping folks out here for real. You know? And then look at vegans. Yes, you're supposed, like, it's the, the concept is beautiful. You know, eat healthy, save the animals, all that. But next thing you know, is a bunch of vegans talking shit to people who aren't vegan, who still eat animals and whatnot. And the people who eat animals, they are sometimes the nicest people ever. They just happen to still eat meat. Yet, you got a vegan calling them all types of names and like speaking down on them just because they eat meat. Like what? It's different to like be friends with somebody and they make jokes about it, but it's literally communities of vegans being assholes to other people who aren't vegans. But yeah, you know, it, it's all about like keeping that focus. So if you decide to be you know in a religious organization you gotta be on that mission you can't be you know toxic if you decide to change your diet you decide to eat you know healthier foods and whatnot it's your job to share that message and help other people and make sure your children eat healthy not going around being mean to people just because you can just because you feel like you're better than them like i guess folks forgot that all food is poison right now if you don't grow your own food <laughs> and you're not buying like from farmers markets and independent growers and stuff it's still poison you can be vegan all you want to if you shop at the grocery store you still getting poison just like everybody else you know what i'm saying so don't even try to boast like that my guy i just like being outside i don't know what's wrong with that but you can get these in crystals this is green adventuring and this is opalite you can get these on the uci website the uci.online and you can get this from weareguidesent.com. This is the rainbow shocker bracelet. So, you know, you have to look within yourself and make sure that's what you're doing. Are you being a positive example for your children? Are you being a positive example for your spouse? Are you being a positive example for your family members, your friends, your cosmic fam, your coworkers, your business partners, your business associates, people who follow you on Instagram? Are you an influencer? Are you influencing them positively? You have to think about those things. This isn't just about getting likes and comments. Me being a YouTuber isn't new, but me having like popularity, me being an actual influencer, influencing large numbers of people, that's new and I'm on track. I'm doing a positive thing. Like this is the best thing ever. Where were you a year ago? What changes can you say you have made within the last year? How many lives have you touched in the past year? I can actually say I've touched over 100,000 lives. Like, I, I can say that. Like, that's crazy. And that's only on YouTube. I'm just happy with life. I don't care how sad life gets. I know what comes tomorrow because I'm staying focused because I'm on track. I know what's coming tomorrow. I know what's coming next week. I know what's coming in a month. I know what's coming next year because I have goals set in place and I know I'm working every day to get there. So why would I be sad? 